Okay, well, this is stuck here for a minute. Till the storm. Get in my van! Open up, bitches!
to one is going to be 1076 to the latest injured person. Go boys! Our first call! <clears throat> it's in that show, yeah, it's just kind of funny. Actually, it looks like there's two people. Possibly up images up there. Oh, I almost went into the water. That would have been bad. Besides, that to have somebody come save me. That was some sick drifts. I got this slow up here. How?
Hello! Where could they be? They're, probably, they're actually probably on the way back to the box. I know, I bet. Alright, well, let me see if we can get a good look at the area. Let's scout it, maybe. Maybe I can find him. Yeah, no, I don't think they're here. Yeah, man, my first call, nobody's here. Man. Oh, I almost saw off. Well, seeing it is going to be clear and not so sure yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the locks. Gonna turn around and go back to that huh? Slow, 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 please. I don't want to fall on the mountain. How did that without falling off? Surprises me. No. Wait. Yes. A local just watched that whole thing happen. He just watched in the ambulance. Well, I didn't get that kind of side. He's like, what the fuck did I just witness? I just watched a miracle. Mm, jolly, golly, I watched a miracle happen. Alright guys, I'm probably not going to be streaming really well, at least right now. I plan on streaming again later tonight, but I'm going to go somewhere here soon. Like 30 minutes or so.
Okay, well... Off we go to Grove Street. Let's see when it's going to be 10 to the 6th. See the latest inch press on the Grove Street. I know I'm the only, I'm the only EMS on radio, but I'm just going to say it anyway. As if I wasn't the only one. So can you hear me? Alright, let's go and get you uh, we're gonna get you back to pillbox. Well, the second call is, uh, go. So we got a hunting accident, a car accident, and nails. <laughs> That's an interesting thing. Accidents that happen. So say things that happen to you must do. <laughs> so can you hear me? Oh yeah. Alright. Alright, so I found, I, I don't know, but you know what happened to you? It seems like you got shot with a shit ton of nails. Nail guns. <laughs> Alright. Well, I just, I'm just gonna let you know, this is very painful to pull out while I was taken into the surgery room. Okay. Okay. 
this is going to take a little bit, considering there's a shit ton of nails in you. It's got a whole lot, alright? So you're going to have to bear with me. Alright, we're going to get... I can't feel my body anyways. Uh, well, that, that'll make this easier. We're going to start with the... We're going to start with this, this one that's um directly below your throat, okay? It's not, it shouldn't draw blood, but if it does, I'll uh, make sure I uh, get some gauze on it so it doesn't go everywhere. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one. Okay, that's the first one done. I didn't drop too much blood, so we're going to move on to the next one. Three, two, one. One. Uh, you still not feeling anything? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna start pulling these out a little bit faster now, alright? Alright. Hey, I'm not even gonna count down, I'm just gonna pull them out. Ten, dude. Alright, there's just a few more left. We should be able to get these out with no problem. I'm just going to move around to the other side. So, down towards your legs. Okay. Uh, looks like that's all of the nails in your front part of the body. Uh, looks like the back doesn't have any so we should be good. I'm gonna clean these wounds up and manage them alright so alright alrighty what's your name? Marcus alright Marcus just stay up stay with me we'll get you uh, we'll get you good and we'll get you walking again I feel like you can't walk but you do have wheelchairs uh, so move my car up <laughs> I'm assuming that was your car that was in the uh that was in the 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 the, the, the telephone pole. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it as I was coming in. Yeah, it looked like it was pretty bastard. There's also a tow truck over there, do you know why that was there? Uh uh. Okay. Yeah, well there wasn't a driver in there, so I'm, I'm assuming he got hurt at some point where it wasn't one. I just uh, know there were a lot of people with a lot of nail guns. Alright, well, I'm not cop, so I can't really ask questions as to why. Well, I can, but I just choose not to at this moment. I, my only priority is get make sure you're safe and that you're okay. Right, I'm gonna go get you up in three, two, one. Whew. How you feeling? Feeling any better? Just a little bit, yeah. Alrighty. Do you think you can walk or do you want me to try to get you a wheelchair? Let's see if we can try a wheelchair. My knees are killing me, bro. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to have you wait here real quick. I got to actually got to go grab it. Um, yeah, I'm not right. sure how this is going to work considering it's an actual uh, vehicle, but I have to get up here somehow. <laughs> All right. Actually, I'm going to... Uh, to make this easier on me, I'm just gonna escort you with me. Sounds good. Before we take it down to the garage, I'm gonna see if I can if there's a wheelchair item I can give you. Um, so I'll be right back. I said a little bit of a country accent though, and stuff that. There is not? Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll go in down the garage, I guess. Oh, 
Okay, I'll put you in the air um, once so we can just ride down there. My bad, I was in my head for a second. Oh, you good. I'm just put you in the air once so we can just ride down there and I have to uh, carry you downstairs and, and put you in more pain. Don't ask why there's another ambulance or wheelchair on here, you, I can't get rid of them. Alright, let's go and try this, see if it works for you. I mean, you might actually have to get in it yourself. There you go, yeah, we'll move it. <laughs> I need keys. Okay, uh, you'll have to get a. Uh, wait, are you hotwiring it? Hold on, I got this, don't worry. <laughs> I didn't even know you could hotwire this. Yeah, it says I need keys. There we go. Alrighty. Well, Dick, you can uh, make it back to where you were in one piece. Yeah, we should be good. I appreciate All right. it. Alright, I'll go ahead and open up the garage show for you. Thank you. Nah, no problem. You stay safe. Jesus Christ, man. That took 15 minutes uh, for that whole interaction. <laughs> I just knocked me in the wheelchair. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's amazing. What the fuck? <laughs> this, I know who did that one.
Can I just say, if I had walked out that door, I would have been severely hurt. So that was yeah, really yeah, good that, timing. Kind of went flying. The timing on that was pretty good. <laughs> it was. Hey, you guys, uh, you guys sell wheelchairs here? I've got a really bad fucking knee. That's uh, been, we don't while. exactly sell wheelchairs, but mm -hmm. I can, I can have you. I can uh, loan one to you for the day, or for yeah. at least until the next sort. Yeah, that, that works, that works. Okay, uh, go ahead and just follow me downstairs. We don't exactly have an elevator, it's something I'm trying to get worked on. Okay, okay. Would you believe that I've only been on duty for 30 minutes? I've already had like, what, four... Oh my god, and I have another call now! Oh, fuck. Uh, are you okay with waiting here for a little bit? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll come back up here in a uh, few minutes. I gotta go grab a few things. Okay, I'll be back.
Uh oh. Oh, I thought my game was about to crash. Oh, I see him. <clears throat> Alright, sir, can you hear me? Alright, that's a no, you're unresponsive. Okay, I'm going. Oh, you can hear me? Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't hear an answer. Uh, what happened? Car crash? I just forgot to eat. I just forgot to eat. <laughs> you forgot to eat. <laughs> Is your car yeah, locked? I had a little, little, little blood sugar. Is your car locked? Uh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna get and take you back to the lot so get your health death and IV and I'll bring you back here, okay? It's a nice car, by the way. Thank you, bro. Thank you. You know. Yeah, I hear those uh, GSF boys are around, though, so that, that green might not be a good move unless you want to join them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I just showed stuff. I don't know this for sure. <laughs> okay, let's go and get you back to the box. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I was just going to go get uh, help an uh, individual get a wheelchair, and then I got a call. Um, turns out to be your call, so. <laughs> Man, I am busy today. First day on the job, and I'm fucking. Woo! It's your first day? Yep, first day as Chief VMS. Just got hired on today. I've already had four calls in the past 30 minutes, including yours, and I've had people call it to pillbox as well. So, pretty eventful start of my journey, I would say. Alright, we'll go ahead and get you hooked up to an IV up in, uh, in oh, up the infirmary and we'll get you all set and good to go and we'll go ahead and get you back to your car. Alright, thank you. Man, not a problem, not a problem. Hopefully I just don't get a call in between then and now. There's not a bed command yet, so I'm just going to have to drop you here. I'm trying to get one put in though, so there's a lot of shit I gotta get put in. Alright. You're just gonna find a little bit of that. You're gonna feel a little bit of a pinch in your arm, but it's just C I D. My C I D? No 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 no. It's I said you're gonna pin peel a blah blah. Oh god, you're gonna feel a pinch in your arm and it's just gonna be the IV. Okay. Sorry, it does sound like CID, so I understand why. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, okay. The IV is in, just. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. And you should be up in 3, 2, 1. Okay. Oh. Kirk, <laughs> are you even in? Are you an in deadly RP right now, bro? Yep, I'm good to go. Well, if you ain't, are you? If you ain't, there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, let's just. Uh, that's good. 
All right, let's go and get you back to your car now. Save less than I hope to the That's funny. <laughs> I won't even be mad if you're the one that does it. Like, anybody else will be pissed off about it. But if it's you that do, does it, I'm not even gonna be mad. Cause I know I'll have it coming. I almost went the wrong direction. Alright, uh, do you, you have it marked? put a, a waypoint? Yeah, actually, I was just about to ask if you would do that. That'd be great. I think I know the general area of it, but if you're able to put waypoint, it'll be much easier. Oh, I missed a turn. Fuck. That's close, though. Better not fuck me over like last time. Oh, I'm... How did I fuck you over last time? Oh, the reasoning for the ocean, though. Right, right. You're well, sir. Alright, thank you. Have a good day. No problem. Oh, also, you have a little bit of a tinny voice in your voice box. Okay, I'll fix that. Alright, yeah, yeah, I just figured I'd warn ya. I need to get out of the way of these two loons that are diving around in crazy lake. <laughs> Alright, have a good day. Alright, you too. Make ourselves seem busier. Actually, we've been pretty busy not today. I'm not mad at it. Like, I'm not mad at all. for this. Oh my god, I thought I got it. Oh my god, bro! There we go. Jesus. Took me a little bit to you figure it out, but I got it. Boink. Oh, uh, let me you up. Been back on top lately. Oh, I have... Honestly, I haven't been on Floss in a while. It's been a hot minute since I've been on Prophecy. Oh, yeah, 
I haven't been on it since um the whole since whatever happened to you happened. I just don't want to fuck with it. I still I still have it in my server list. I just don't want it very much. I really need to though, cause Bahama Mama's still my baby down there. I'll be right back, boys. I'm not going to get a drink. Alright, so in about 12, maybe an hour and a half, or, uh, 30 minutes. But uh, I know 30 minutes ago I said that I was going to I was going to get off, but I said, yeah, no, no, I, I do need to get off here. Wait, what? What does that say? <laughs> That's kind of cool! That's not even the base game, is it? It's kind of neat. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and park this, and I'll be back in like 30 or so minutes. I'm gonna lead the stream up, I'm gonna play some music, and when I get back, I'll get back on. I'm just gonna go to my room. My I'm gonna go to my grandparents real quick and I'm gonna go grab some things. Get two of these suck my fucks in here. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my. Uh... Wait, I don't have it. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and pause this and we'll play some music. Keep my love on I know we're not 
true. It's all 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 true.
what she wanted. What's some love from somebody who really wanted it? Really wanted it. All she wanted. What's some love from someone who really wanted it? Really wanted it. She just needs somebody that can take it to the top of the world.
I've been looking for love, I've been looking for feelings Can get you out of my mind Just let me dancing, my head is spinning around Just let me love you, come on sing this sound Just let me dancing, my head is spinning around Just let me shake you, let's do it all night long tonight All night long tonight Come on sing this sound I've been feeling the beat, I'm still chasing the sound I want it all again I've been looking for love, I've been looking for you Can get you out of my mind Just let me dancing, my head is spinning around Just let me love you, come on sing the sound Just let me dancing, my head is spinning around Just let me shake you, let's do it all night tonight all night long tonight come on sing the sound tonight all night long tonight come on sing the sound tonight
Alrighty guys, I am back, finally. Ah, it's gone for a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. But I am back.
Back to EMS we go. Uh, okay, I had to take off my belt. Cause I just got back from the game pants. Okay, good. You guys can't hear the fan in the background. Oh, that's not the right room. Oh my god, bro, I can't even get out of my office, man. Because my third eye won't come up and... Neither will the... the other thing. Hail! Hail! I can't get out Hail! Yeah, I, I let you, my third eye is not one to come up. Let me change my third eye balls, alright? Ah, so. Third eye, where are you? Dude, I can't even access my phone because I can't get into my inventory. I don't know what's going on. Hi yo, hi yo, hi yo, hi yo, I can't get you, hi yo, hi yo. Just gonna double check that my that none of my other bindings have been changed. Ah, so they have been changed. Okay, we're good. I don't know why all those changed though, that's weird. Uh, I should be able to unlock the door now. Cool. I think it's dumb that I can't unlock the door if I'm not on duty. I should be able to always unlock that door. But it's whatever. Alright. Ooh, we have three officers on duty, okay. <clears throat> three one one. Command one for EMS. It was ten forty one. I didn't realize this this actually happened in the day. <laughs> I don't know why that excites me so much. I have to go down and get a freaking speed out just in case. So I can't get the other two colors, which kind of sucks, but sort of. Not everything is working. I also need. I still didn't say I need an elevator. Jesus Christ.
do 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 oh summon attacks to build attacks to build. Oh, it's just freaking dickies, bro. Oh, good, the car's down. Oh, my bad, ma'am. What happened to my legs? My legs! Great. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Do you mean Jimothy Carr, really? Wait, there's three officers on the... Oh, A bunch of cards is just like, wait. What did we get here, Matt? <sighs> okay, I need to go. Oh. Perfect. And right, now I can go inside and get some more uniforms set up. And you get a surgeon one and a firefighter one set up. And a recruit. Actually, I might just get a firefighter one for now. Alright, and then let's get some fight fighting pants on. Boys are fighting. Great. Talking about my nephews, by the way, in case you're wondering who I'm talking about. Which nobody, probably, I'm pretty sure nobody's wondering what the fuck I'm talking about. There you are, okay, come back. Wow. Oh, 
Oh, somebody's here. Output and three firefighter. Output. Put it on. Let's get back up there. Ah, I found like somebody's out here. Ugh. So, are you okay? So, are you okay? Hello? Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Oh shit, there's another person here. Oh. Hmm. What? No, so, oh yeah, there he is. Okay, I found him. <coughs> oh, there's four of them, one dude. Give him the gangster through walk. You know, slow walk. Hmm. Chief, 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 chief. Woo! I'm gonna go watch this from the sidewalk. I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be okay, man. I should talk like this as this character. Like, more often. I should go. Hi guys, my name is uh, Alan Torn and I'm gonna be your doctor today. Um, I'm not gonna do that.
Baltic Baltic Bowl, located in the southwestern part of the Muhammad Wasteland in the year 2281. As part of the Bowl's social experiment, the army was overstocked with weapons and ammunition, which gave it a gun focused culture. It was even equipped with a great number of recreational facilities, including a full size swimming pool at the cost of living space. Foreseeing problems with this experiment, the overseer had a remote link to the armory locked and installed on the terminal, denying all access. A group of dwellers demanded access to the armory, stating that they have every right to defend themselves, which the overseer denied. Rioting broke out soon after the group that demanded access to the army stormed the exit and left the vault around 2231, while another group stayed back to later overthrow the overseer. Whether by accident or design, the vault door cannot be opened again, trapping the vault doors that stay behind inside. Their only hope of ever leaving is an automated unsealing of the vault in the near future or external intervention before dying of radiation poisoning and due to the reactor malfunction in the first vault. For the dwellers who did escape the vault, they became known as the Boogers, who live at the Nellis Air Force Base in Maha. Vault 34 is a vault tech vault. What would happen if you lay down in front of SCP-173 and close your eyes? Would he still be able to grab you or just kick you a lot? SCP shower thoughts. If SCP-106 is made of a corrosive substance that melts everything it touches, how does he still have a jacket on? And I guess that explains why he has no pants. If SCP-087 is an infinite staircase, can we just throw all of our trash down it and solve the global garbage problem? Get on that, Mark Grover. What if the pestilence SCP-049 is always worried about is a disease? Disease we already hear in humanity like smallpox, which is why we never know what he's talking about, but he's just so old he doesn't know that we already cured it. How much safer would containment breaches be if the NTF were always just already at the facility? Do human SCPs like Plague Doctor need to use the bathroom? SCP-173 does, so does that mean SCPs get dedicated bathroom breaks every now and then? What would happen if you looked at SCP-096 and then immediately took amnesthetics to forget what he looked like? Would he still try to attack you? After you subscribe, tell me. What would happen if you... What is thy bidding, my master? My bidding? Hold on, I bid thee. Stop ramming the ship in a f***ing asteroid field. Can you handle it? I'm trying. Yeah, well, there is no trying. There's two, and there's f***ing up royal. And you are f***ing up royal. So I'm hiring bounty hunters to do the job. Well, I... It's already written. It's so tiny down there, like a little bean pepper shaker. Sheila! Hey, it's Bounty. Listen, I need you to place an ad for me, will you? Imperial Emperor seeking bounty hunters to, um, to find and locate... Yeah, I guess that is the same. Okay, to locate the Millennium Falcon. Just type it. So all you see is my head, huh? Can you see this? Yes, I am. Yeah, right? Well, be sure to mention some kind of a reward. What? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how much you think. Okay? That seems a little high to me. No, I see your point. Actually, why don't we just say substantial reward and leave it at that? Okay, thank you, Sheila. What? <sighs> so, what, what was his name? Tengar? Sounds good. Yeah, oh, no, we're, we're gonna get the first thing. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Sheila's husband's a bounty hunter. Told her we didn't want look see. But that knee is starting to hurt. What is thy bidding? <laughs> I'm not bidding. Hold on, I bid thee. Stop ramming the sh. Vault 34. Only laser muscle in the settlement of defense. Just as the Minutemen intended, four raiders break into my settlement. What the devil I say is I grab my laser muscle and try to attack him. Blow a corporal size hole through the first man. He's dead on the spot. Draw my laser pistol on the second man. Missing entirely because it's scattered shot, and they'll drop it instead. I have to resort to the camera mounted at the top of the stairs loaded with great sure. Tally for lads. I say is the great sure trace too many at last. I fix my bayonet and charge the last terrified web scanner. He bleeds out waiting for Doc, but there's to right because triangular bayonet wounds are impossible to switch on. Just as Todd intended. I'm in a laser punch. Wait, come on. Wait. Bitch, what part about wait can I understand? That's the whole problem is this. Stop! Is this fucking thing broken? Oh, yeah, let me go ahead and just stop that Camaro when he can't even stop his wife from getting a divorce. Yes. Alexa Croft. You just added another 10 seconds, bitch. I got a hang, buddy. Hurry up. You better clench them cheeks, bucko. We got a Congo line of school buses coming through. No, it's fine. Oh, wait. I love being a substitute teacher. Oh, wait. You don't need Jesus to cross. Just do it, bitch. You know what? It's fine. I don't even want to cross. Street. Fucking psych! Yeah. Fuck. I'm sorry, that was a little rough on my end. My therapist says I'm always pushing people's buttons, and here I am pushing people's buttons. No, it's okay. I get all this shit on the street. That's how it works in Los Angeles. Ew! It is just stuck. Come on, you son of a bitch! Whoa! You better tell me I'm gonna come get across. Oh, sweet mother of Mary! I haven't been fingered like that since '88. Glad you can walk, cause I can't. Also, it's a sticky pineapple. Wait, so you have any sales experience? Yeah, I did a similar job in London. Okay, you can start today. I'll swing by at the end of the day just to see how you did. Okay, great. Thanks a lot.
So, how to get on? Yeah, not bad. I made one sale. Only one. Most of our workers sell between 20 and 30 items today. How much was the sale for? £101,500. £101,500? What the hell did you sell? Well, first I sold him a fishing hook, and then I sold him a fishing rod. Then I asked him where he was going fishing, and he said by the coast. So I said he's going to need a boat, so I sold him that Chris Craft that we've got. Then he said his Honda Civic wouldn't be able to pull it, so I took him down to the car department and sold him that 4x4. That's incredible. A guy comes in here to buy a fishing hook, and he sell him a boat and a 4 by 4 Nobody came in to buy a box of tampons for his wife, so I said, well, that's your weekend shop. You might as well go fishing. So, do you have any sales experience? Yeah, I had a similar job in London. Okay, you can start today. I'll swing by at the end of the... Lobsters used to be fed to prison inmates because they were a poor man's food, so why are they so expensive today? Well, we've got to go back to the Pilgrims. brothers. I think this is how they talked. Because in the early 16th century, they were arriving in America's Bay areas, and they're like, Oh my, cherry out, the oceans are riddled with lobsters. So like, act... Let's get out of the way. If there's any reason why you're staying right up to a man, you want to be the juggernaut? You know, it's time to. So it says get behind this truck. Put down the sentry turret. So it says the first person to claim the juggernaut wins. Good luck. On the street. Represents you three versus that juggernaut. Good luck. <laughs> Congratulations. I want to do a little experiment for you. Down the smoke with me. I shall. <laughs> okay. I didn't think I would. <laughs> so just get out of the way. Oh, I'm going to have to try that in more than one photo. That's fucking amazing. <gasps>
lightsaber in the Star Wars universe. Despite the common view of Revan only using a purple lightsaber, he actually used many lightsabers throughout his life, such as blue, green, red, and so on. But there was one lightsaber that was so unbelievably rare that it only existed within Jedi and Sith prophecy, until Revan technically found it. The Jedi prophesied that during a galactic war, a mystical lightsaber crystal would appear to a heroic user to help save the galaxy. And on the flip side, the Sith prophesied that this lightsaber crystal would appear to a naughty user and cause chaos. The crystal itself was known as Heart of the Guardian, and its color was close to a burnt, fiery orange, and Revan acquired it from the exotic goods trader, and although he technically never used it, instead opting to use a blue one, it was the only time it ever appeared, and because of that, it's considered the rarest lightsaber crystal in all of Star Wars. Why do you mean it's not? Yeah, but they say it has no bearing, it's so scary, you have to the loud, it's so scary, you see him walking around with his head full of clarity, as long as it's so, so comfortable, he's so scary, the problem child, he's putting the bottom of all comes out, he's off the bow, the fucking dad walking out, he's so mad that he just blocks him out, if you ever saw him again, he probably knocked him out, his thoughts are whack, he's mad, so he's talking back, he's talking black, brainwashed from rock and grass, did you know there's a super creepy connection between 2017's It movie and the 1990 miniseries you might have missed? In both stories, the shape-shifting ancient entity known as It typically takes on the form of Pennywise the Dancing Clown and crawls out of the sewers every 27 years to fill his belly with the little boys and girls of Derry. And in a terrifying twist, the miniseries and movie remakes seem to be on the exact same cycle as the balloon-obsessed monster. The miniseries in which Tim Curry plays the creepy AF clown premiered on November 18, 1990. Then Bill Skarsgård took on the role in the big screen remake which hit theaters in 2017. Yep, that's 27 years later. And the crazy thing is, that 27-year gap was not planned. 2017's hit movie had been in the works for a long time. There were even several delays and a change of directors that pushed the release back even further. But it all seemed to work out in the end, as those unexpected delays brought Pennywise back exactly 27 years after he first appeared on the screen. Maybe it was just a happy coincidence. Or maybe, just maybe, it was the plan of an ancient evil all along. Did you know there's a super creepy connection between 2017's It Moves so Yes, make sure you're standing on the tank barrel. We need less players for this to work. So it says light up, it's time to kill some players. So it just says look at the player next to you in the eyes. Everyone's got a partner, good. Melee! Wow, you know, I thought you guys were bloodthirsty. I'm very impressed you guys are waiting for me to say swift melee. <laughs> Wait, guys. Swift counts, don't worry, you did, you did it correctly. Uh -oh. you, you guys, you guys, you guys here didn't. But just, no, no, no. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, okay. Forgot him, saw him. So, but says, make sure you stand up and take care. Oh, that's amazing, man. Okay. There's any caps in the city? Yeah, it's a bull's eye. Uh, it's a bull's eye. So I'm gonna go say hi to him. Wait. Oh god damn it. Okay, I'll go say hi to him after I get the sun on my hand. thing. The fuck? Good thing there's a uh, changing room here. Outfits. Well, 
No go. Not time in my head anymore. Problem solved. Alright, now let's go to PD. And say hi to the officers. So I'm bored. I got nothing to do. Like, all my work has just stopped. <laughs> yeah, it's set to double check for something on my GPS. I missed. God damn it. Well, never mind. I guess I'm not going over there. <laughs> Wait, whose side is on duty right now? That's what I'm on. You must see cop is the highest on duty. You know what? I'm gonna go wait for him. Ah. You know what? I'm fuck it. Fuck it. I'm bored. I'm gonna go stage up. MSPD, uh, do you have a Broadway in progress? Okay. Okay. Would you like me to search up for, to uh, take care of the hostage for you? Once you're done? Uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. We're gonna get you to check up on the hostage. 10 four. I have nothing to do right now, so I figured that out for my services. Chief of Medical, Alan Two. Two or four to the officer on scene. Ten four, send it. Do you know how to clear a building? Yeah, I know. Ten four. Do you know how to take care of hostage? Yeah. Copy that. Uh, Is that so they just, yeah, they just left. Copy that. Medical, you can roll. Stand for? <sighs> Alright, I'm assuming you were the hostage. Uh, I don't think it's working. Oh, it says I just got that, Sorry, sorry, MS. Wait, I don't even. Wait, what the fuck? Where is she? I don't see her! I don't see her! Wait. Uh, you're free to go. Do you need a ride anywhere? Um, I need to ride back to the gallery. Cause my car is actually over there. Okay, yeah, I'll give you a ride once I clear the building. Um. Uh, EMS, no, it's chief. It's not working. Okay. Ba 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 ba. What the fuck is happening? Hello, dude. My mic just completely stopped working, bro. What? 
Why? Do you still have eyes? Negative, I just got pit by another civilian. Ten for the hostage and the star will be called for. I'm gonna give a courtesy to but, but, but. the Hello! Coffee. Why is this not working? Hello? What the fuck? And my mic is not working in game. What's this fucked into? Yeah, I'm gonna be. Test, test, test. I got absolutely smacked by a pink and colored car. Alright, can you guys still hear me over radio? That's a no. They can't hear me over radio either. Uh, okay, cool. Um, can you guys hear me now? Yeah. Okay then. Well. So, one of, I remember only one of the suspects, and they were wearing, like, a white horse mask with, like, a red hair. And they were wearing like all black. And the other guy, I don't really remember. See, one is gonna go ahead and go back on the radio too. Well, that kind of sucked, considering they couldn't hear my voice. Yeah, I don't know why that happened. I'm gonna PDM sells emergency vehicles. <clears throat> but I can't, I was about to say, I can't move. What the fuck? Officer, I cannot see you. Oh my god, okay. I think I know what the problem is. Let me guess. There we go. I found it out. I found out why. I found out why. It's storage issues, so I'm gonna have to cash. Whoa, this whole thing is starting to piss me off. Like, you guys just saw what happened. Like, I have to clear my cash again. Like, and I just cleared it, like, what? When did this stream start? Like two hours ago? Yeah, about two and a half hours ago. I cleared my cash. And now I gotta do it again. There we go. 
Okay, whoa. Okay, we're starting to get to almost two gigabytes, so. Yeah. Uh, but now I know my, my, my issues is. Yeah, 
three months now, and during this time we've eaten out at countless restaurants that scale from fine dining, sit down, and fast casual style food. I was talking with my girlfriend about an hour ago because she DM'd me a video on Instagram. The video was of a massive platter of all the different chicken nuggets and tenders that can be found at the most notable fast food restaurants. It included Raising Cane's, McDonald's, Popeye's, Chick-fil-A, Oh, dude, I'm gonna go to... When I get money... After I pay rent, I'm gonna go to every single place that sells chicken nuggets, get a shit ton of them, and just put them all into one bag and like. <laughs> oh, you mean spicy nuggets, bro? That's not. I'm, I might even make a video on that. That sounds like fun. Steel is the worst faction in Fallout 4. Let me explain. Forget their morals, good or bad, right? Strictly business. When we first see them, they're shown basking the sky in their aerial superiority. It's absolutely glorious, and it made me want to know more about them. And then you do, and you quickly realize that despite their supposed aerial dominance, they don't have any real pilots. In the lore, they just found some venti birds lying around and went, at Victorium, let's do this. There are four ranks of pilots in the Brotherhood. Three of them don't seem to matter, because only the fourth rank seems to require finesse. Like, huh? Shouldn't they all require finesse? Otherwise, you're losing pilots by the minute. You're just a bunch of red shirts at this point. Because I've yet to see a single venti bird survive from the lowest of the low danger missions. No way I'm putting faith in you having my back. Brotherhood of Steel is the worst faction in fall. You mean it's not helpful? I was at a university not too long ago. This college, somehow or another, wound up giving the police department Priuses to use for the patrol cars. Now look, this is not even a joke. If you're an officer of... The first thing that people see when you arrive on a scene is your mode of transportation. Your vehicle needs to establish dominance of the situation before you set one foot outside. In California, over 65% of California Highway Patrol officers now drive SUVs. So when you get stopped over there, you feel it. You're intimidated by it. And people jump out on the freeway. Don't kill me! Don't let me get stopped by a cop in a Prius with attitude. You know why I stopped you? Because I let you. I think I just set a world record in Warzone 2. Accidentally. I was trying to make friends in proximity chat when the devil on my shoulder took over, and before I knew it, I betrayed right. two people in one match. So when I landed back from my gulag, I saw this as a perfect opportunity. I thought I had been nice to so many people, and I had to fuck the best that people. Yeah, this game, I'm going for uh, for a world record. Well, do you know what the world record is? Uh, no. I'm actually trying to go in one game. I'm trying to set a world record for um, the most uh, fucking betrayals. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. Ah! It had to be done. I think I just set a world record in Wars. I can't tell you where to go. But well, why? Wherever they film the first 48 on A and E. Now, if you're not familiar with the show, okay. Well, camera crews follow real homicide detectives for the first 48 hours after a murder. And the reason that that time distinction is so important is that after 48 hours, uh, they give up on that murder. They're like, that's some old shit. What do you want to do today? How about you keep trying to solve that murder, man? That shit happened on Monday. It's Wednesday. We're not going to solve that shit. I'm blown away, first of all, at how many times there's a witness to a murder. It's crazy. I always thought murders happened in dark alleys. Nobody saw shit. No. Every other episode, they're like, you see that shit? And you're like, I saw that shit. Yeah. Where? Right fucking here. <laughs> standing here. Okay, guys. I appreciate everybody for sticking around. Like, appreciate it. Uh, Bye. Something like that. I can't tell you where.